Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering. Off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, tell me I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit shitty out today since we had a storm last night and then it's kind of warm today. It's relatively cool, but it's still kind of humid. I'm hoping that this review item will, you know, kind of help cool things down for me a little bit. But we'll get into that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, oh, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts... I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be my boom! My I don't need no instructions to know how to rock shirt. With, with Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, I love this shirt. And it always gets a nice response. People people see this one and they're just like, ah, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Getting some shirt representation. Uh, but if you're unfamiliar, it's certainly possible. Uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force was slash is, I'm not sure if it's still actively going or not, because they were doing some uh, little short episodes on the internet for a while, but I don't know. Uh, but basically it was an animated series that came out in the 2000s on Cartoon Network on their Adult Swim platform. And it was weird and poorly animated, and nobody knew what to make fucking sense of it when it first came out. But it ended up becoming like a bona fide cult hit. Uh, it even had a movie in theaters and everything. It didn't do very well, but it basically broke even with what they put into it. Um, and as great as the show was, Carl is definitely the best character in the whole damn thing. And so, yeah, when I saw this shirt, I was like, yeah, I gotta get this shirt. But anyway, folks, it's super... Yeah, I already went through that. Folks, what am I trying... <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I just get stuck in a loop. What am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, like I said, it's not bad out. But it's, again, it's a little bit, you know, a little sweat off the brow. So when I saw this particular item, uh, I was out at Target, and I was like, that looks like a thing that would be perfect to review for a day like this. Happens to be, boom! It's Ben and Jerry's Churray for Churros, with the exclamation point, uh, buttery cinnamon ice cream with churro pieces and crunchy cinnamon swirls. It's a new flavor! <sighs> ben and Jerry's has been putting out a lot of new flavors this year, man. 2024, they're like, just pump them out. Just fucking get them out there, all the ice cream, all the time. I reviewed a few of them. I did their Marshmallow Sky. I did their uh, Boston Cream Pie one that they had. Like, two other, like a pretzel one. It was a whole thing. So, first and foremost, let's get a, a thing for this thing. It looks like, like that. And then, ha, 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 And it's got a little thing on the back. When is the best time to enjoy the cinnamon mix chock full of churros? Any time of the day, from breakfast until bed, from now until whenever. It's pretty terrific. Sure, why not? Let's give it a go. Uh, yeah, churro is like a, a little bit of a trending thing this year. I reviewed a, what was it, churro latte from uh, Dunkin' at one point. I think one other churro-related thing. Oh, where did my spoon go? Spoon! No! Why have you forsaken me, spoon? Spoon? Spoon! Let's give it a go. Looks like that, by the way. It's kind of nice. It's been in my car for not a lot, but you know, just a little bit. So that's good. That makes me happy. Because the thing is, like I said, sure has been a little bit of a trending flavor in 2024, and. Typically speaking, when they say churro, they just mean we put some cinnamon in it. In the, we put some cinnamon in it, and we're calling it fucking churro. Um, that's not all that a churro has to offer, though. Yes, the cinnamon is obviously a very prominent flavor. There's more to it than that. In a case like this, though, to their credit, you know, say what you want about Ben and Jerry's. Um, I typically like their stuff. You know, they put the effort into making sure that the flavors are you know, at least somewhat well represented. And I think that this perfectly goes off of that.
because it's not just cinnamon. For one thing, it's a cinnamon sugar flavor, so you are getting that nice, you know, sweetened uh, cinnamon. But the cinnamon itself, that flavor is fantastic. It is not just like a, a one-note cinnamon kind of thing. It really does permeate throughout it. And then you do get little chunks of actual, actual churro, and I like that. And the churro chunks are nice. Kind of have a consistency of sort of like almost like cookie dough and cookie dough ice cream. And then it just gives it, when you go over there, when you get a proper chunk of the churro along with the ice cream, that's obviously when it's really at its best. And it's closest to that actual churro flavor because the churro pieces that they have in here taste really good. And they don't just taste like chunks of cinnamon. You know, again, they have a little bit of that cinnamon flavor, but they taste like, you know, that pastry aspect that is the, uh, you know, the deliciousness of the churro. So, I like these a lot. Yeah. Another thing I have to mention when it comes to Ben & Jerry's, in terms of ingredient distribution... I think they're one of the better ones when it comes to making sure, you know, and to be fair, you do pay for it. You know, it tend to cost a little bit more than some of your other options. Um, but you're paying for that quality. Like, I've never felt in my life, and all the times I've had Ben & Jerry's, I've never felt like I got ripped off by Ben & Jerry's. I didn't always think that, you know, the flavor in question was like my favorite version of a flavor or something. But I've always enjoyed it, and I've always felt like the effort was there and that, again, you know, it, they were packing stuff in there. You know, every time I go over there and I bite into it, I'm getting some good stuff. And that's just really tasty. The ice cream is a really nice vehicle for it, which makes sense. Cinnamon ice cream is a thing, and it's really tasty, so. I like this one a bunch. I think it is a really good one. Um, but... Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I mean, for me personally, I have to go with yes and yes. I think on, I think this hits on every level. I think the ice cream itself is good. You know, it's tasty. It's Ben and Jerry's. You know, again, I, I know some people don't like their stuff, and that's fair, you know, for whatever reason. But for me, I think they put out good ice cream. And so that aspect of it is always going to be quality. After that, it really is just trying to make sure that the flavors work and that they're, you know, representing whatever they're supposed to be representing. In this case, I think the churro flavors really work well, and I think that they do a good job of representing a churro flavor. You know, it's not as good as, like, a proper freshly made churro, but, you know, within reason, of course. Uh, and if I'm recommending it, like, this is one that I think would be super easy for me to recommend because I feel like, you know, living in America, I think most people, I'd say probably a good, the majority of the population um, of the United States is aware of what a churro is, has probably had a churro or at least something churro related at some point in time. I think that this is something that most people could get behind because at the end of the day, like it's cinnamon, it's got tasty or tasty pastry bits in it. And, like, just overall, as a an ice cream, it's just really nice. Again, you know, cinnamon ice cream works really well. It's not overly sweet. Um, it just comes together really well. So this one is an easy win for me. And I think that this is one where I would actually like to see Ben & Jerry's keep this on, you know, on shelves. Like, I don't know if it's going to be a limited time thing or whatever, but I think this is one they could actually go over there and keep on there. And I would imagine, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a marketing genius. I mean, I might be, and I just don't know it. But, you know, I think this is one of those things where, like, this could sell. I think this could sell really well. And I can rhyme as I do it. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Spendous rest of your folks. Go over there. Have yourselves a truly churro-tastic rest of your life. Because, again, like churros, I haven't had, you know, and I say that. I haven't had a like a proper churro in years. And I, I like and I hate myself for that. You know, it's just it's kinda win. You know, like when do I find myself in a situation 
you know, because usually, like, if I'm going out to a restaurant or something like that, and some places will offer, like, churros, you know, I usually don't do a lot of desserts, because I'm usually just focused on the main chunk of the meal, you know, maybe an appetizer, but I gotta get, I gotta get some churros, man, I'm... Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your personal opinion on churros? Are you a churro fanatic? Do you, I can't imagine people not liking churros. I'm sure there are some, because there's always, you know, outliers for everything. But I don't think I've ever met anybody in my life who, who was like, brr, I don't you know, maybe if you're not in a cinnamon or something. Um, like I said, I enjoy a good churro. It's just one of those things, man. I gotta gotta introduce it back into my food lexicon. Not not on a regular basis, because let's be honest, I don't really need to add more stuff into what's already keeping me fat. But at the same time, you know, I definitely need to get it in more often than like once every five years or so. Anyway. <laughs>